It's been another wonderful week of cricket, and my top five moments are here on Hogs Vlog. Well, firstly, RCB against KKR. You think I'm talking about Virat Kohli's 100? Well, I'm not. It's Moen Ali up against Kuldeep Yadav. Now, Kuldeep Yadav has lost the confidence, and Moen Ali knew that. He pounced on it, took 27 off his final over. Now, Kuldeep Yadav, he has had his struggles this year, but he's a quality bowler. It's all mental for him. He's still got a lot of IPL cricket this season to turn things around. Go and get him, young fella, and well done to Mo and Ali. Now, number two, SRH were taking on the Delhi Capitals. Now, everyone says whoever bats first in the IPL, well, they're going to lose. They can't defend. Well, Delhi Capitals, they've got Morris and Rabada. Against SRH, they showed how to bowl in those death overs under pressure situations. Yes, they've got a potent Yorker. Everyone says, bowl Yorker, Yorker, Yorker in those tough death situations. Well, you can't, because batsmen work out that you're just going to look at that length. What these two do, they vary their length, they vary their pace. They've got a good bouncer, they've got potent good length deliveries with variances in the change of pace, and they can really bamboozle batsmen. And they bamboozled the Sunrisers Hyderabad, who needed 50 off the last five, and they lost eight for 15. So well done to the South Africans, those two South African bowlers. They're really showing their class. But then I go to number three. It was the Pandya brothers from Mumbai Indians who were up against these two particular bowlers in the death overs. And what did they do? They have been watching how these two bowl in those final overs. They used their smarts. They came up with a different plan. When they were uh, facing up, they went deeper in their crease. So when these two bowlers went for the Yorker, they had to vary their length. They couldn't just hit that white line. They had to go further up. And what did it do? It put them off their lengths, and the Pania brothers capitalised and took the game away from the Delhi Capitals. So well done to the Pania brothers. That was absolutely sensational. Brilliance of working out how to take on the two death bowlers in the uh, competition. Now, number four, Imran Tahir against the Kolkata Knight Riders. The Kolkata Knight Riders were well on top. They were one for 79 when Tahir started to make his presence felt. He got four wickets, turned the game around for CSK in this particular uh, game. And it wasn't just four wickets, any old wickets. It was Lynn. It was Rana, Russell, Utapa, the four batsmen who can take the game away from any other team, any opposition, because of their power hitting. Tahir kept his composure, went out there, got the four wickets, and CSK eventually won the game. So well done to Imran Tahir, brilliant leg spinner. And I'm looking forward to how he goes in the World Cup coming up. Now, the last one, number five. This is a little bit different. Now, we had 10 games in a row where the team batting first lost the game. And then in the final six games of this week, four teams who batted first out of the last six games won the game. What that's telling me is people are understanding how to bowl and defend totals. It is a big component of the game. And I think when we get to the playoffs, we're gonna see a lot of teams bat first and defend totals because runs on the board always wins those tight contests. Now that's my top five for the week on Hogs Vlog. Join me later on the week where I answer the tough questions on Ask Hoggy.